anyone that knows me knows I talk about the downslope that we get, which is the wind events. Well, today here is one. This one's not a strong one, but it this is what it is. Guarantee you go a mile west of us, just over the hill over there. Unless you're at the top of the hill, you won't have no wind. Because this wind is coming directly from the mountain, and that's why it's strong and gusty. The Weather Channel was saying on my phone app that it was at 10 miles an hour, but it's not consistent for one, and two, these gusts are stronger than 10. I would say they're probably about 20. But it's a constant thing that comes from the mountain when the temperature gradient's right. On the east side of the mountains, it's cooler. So the cooler air comes across the mountains and voila, you get strong downsloping winds. Because right over there's the mountain and that chain goes as far as you can go that way and as far as you can go this way. And it's this constant constant stuff that just keeps going and going. It's gotten so bad here before that I have seen the water in the toilet friggin shake. From a downslope event. Which, if you've ever watched the Weather Channel, they'll call it wedging, which would be on the east side of the Appalachians. There's cold air and usually an ice, an ice storm event. And then here on the west side, which that ridge over there is the divider, it uh, we get high winds and it's just above freezing. And that water oak is just so bizarre. That thing will have green leaves on it until probably about mid to the end of September, or September shit, December. That one changes early every year because it's on a giant rock. But I've seen the damn downslope going and I figured I'd document it. And while I'm out here freezing to death, half naked, I need to come look at this thing and it's starting to get its color. She's a beaut, Clark. This one's Sango Kaku. It's starting to rain on me. And this one over here is Japanese Sunrise. Both are coral bark Acer Palmatums. I'm out here in just a pair of shorts and it's freaking cold, considering it's about 40 degrees. I think this one has better color. I'm not sure if the phone's doing it justice, but check that out. Oh, that's freaking cold. Love coral bark maples. Is the hamelis starting to bloom? I'm out here doing this. Might as well document it, if it is. Nope, not quite. It's about to, though. As soon as this thing's leaves turn yellow, the, the flowers will come on it which I find absolutely fascinating. And then the one up there in the front usually blooms at Valentine's Day. But this, folks, is a Claypool Hill downslope event. I tried making one of these earlier in the beginning of the year when the season started changing, but something happened and I got screwed out of it. Anyway, God bless folks. Enjoy your day, and I'll try to do the same with mine.